Hello, my name is Bob Stone with Baird in America, and today we're going to talk about framing caps. As a general rule, there are two types of caps. One is unstructured, such as this one, and it's purely a cotton twill cap. As you can see, it's crushable, it's just material, and there's no lining or buckram inside of it. The other type of cap is the structured cap. And the structured cap, as you can see, uh, the crown of it is stiffer. It has a fused buckram inside of it, and that's what gives the cap uh, its rigidity, and that's what gives it its form. Let's talk about cap backing for just a moment. Um, I like a extra heavy cap backing, and it comes in pre-cut pieces such as this. This is 250 pieces, uh, four and a half inch by seven. They make a little bit longer lengths to two if you're doing uh, the sides of a cap. So you can have one piece that's about, uh, it's gonna be about 14 to 15 inches long. Uh, we tend to get our backing in a roll. If you're using a lot of backing, yes, you do have to cut it, which is an extra step, but cut the lengths that you need. And I think there's less waste, plus it costs less too by buying it in a bulk row like this. This is four and an eighth of an inch is tall by 250 yards. And there's quite a, quite a few pieces in this. And again, the nice thing about this, if you're sewing on both sides of the cap or the front of the cap and the side of the cap, uh, you can cut your backing, um, custom cut it to the length that you need instead of buying all different uh, lengths of backing. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now let's talk a moment about Bairdin's Advantage Plus cap frame and what sets this apart from every other cap frame in the industry. There's a couple things. We use a dual band here. It's in two pieces instead of the one piece, which holds the cap tighter and keeps it on the cap frame for better registration. So the cap's not gonna move on the frame um, and get your design out of registration. The other thing too is we also have a patented clip that holds the back of the cap, which you'll see in just a moment. Some of our competitors use little clips or little paper clips to hold it on there, and that, that makes framing the cap much more difficult, and it doesn't quite hold it as tight as this clip does. But if you notice too, we have these serrated teeth here and here on the frame that hold that cap tight. And again, what you want to do is you want the best registration you can possibly get. All of our machines come standard with caps, unless you elect not to take them. But they all come with two cap frames and one driver per head on your machine. And you're also going to get something called a cap framing device. And the cap framing device can be mounted on your machine. It can be mounted onto a workbench or a table. And there's a couple C-clamps that come with it, too. So we give you pretty much everything you need uh, to get going with caps. So as you notice, the, our cap framing device is made exactly like our cap driver, which means it has these two red tabs, tabs on here. And when you snap the cap frame onto the cap framing device, you can hear it snap on there. And of course, the two tabs will release it. So once you get it snapped on there, you want to pull your band back. And then what we'll do is we'll take a piece of backing and what, if it's not pre-cut or pre-curved, uh, I'll fold it just a tiny bit just to make a little V where it'll stay on uh, your, your, your cap frame. One thing you want to do with your cap is you want to either separate the band at the back or some of them have the little tabs that you can snap or if it's a snap back cap or whatever. Just give yourself some room to work. So you want to pull out the sweat band and push the cap with the sweat band out onto your cap frame. Now, if you notice on this side over here, as I pull this band out, there's a little post that holds that strap. You want to put this band under that strap and then pull your strap over and it goes, the build of cap goes between the two rails of this strap. Something to keep in mind as you pull this band across and right before you buckle it is you want to make sure that these teeth 
are in the seam between the bill of the cap and the body of the cap. You want to make sure that's where it's going to hold the cap its tightest, where it won't move, and you're going to get your best registration. Don't get the band. Don't make the mistake and get the band uh, up here like that. I've seen that happen a couple of times. Make sure it falls into that groove. That is extremely important. That's where you want that little band to go. So once I pull this buckle across and I have it hooked in the, in the little, and I have this hasp hooked in the little clip right there, I like to give it a little bit of a tug just to get the excess wrinkles out of the cap. And then with the other hand, I just clip this buckle or flip the buckle up. The next step is we want to put our clip in because on this cap we're going to sew on both sides. Maybe we're going to put a name on the side or maybe a logo here and a logo on this side and a name on the other side. Uh, you can do that without having to take the cap loose and moving it around on the machine uh, to reposition it and sew these logos. You can do this all at one time. You can set this up in your software. Now, I give it a little tug. And there's a little groove in there, and it, this takes a little bit of practice. And once you find that little groove, you put the side of the buckle in there. You do the same thing on the other side, and go ahead and push it. Push your clip in. So once once you got your clip on, your cap's finished. Just hit the two tabs, pop it off. And you can see right here what a nice job it does. It's really nice and smooth on both sides. So. You know, with confidence, you can embroider on this side, not worry about puckers or registration problems. Same thing on both sides, same thing on the center. So I hope that little tutorial helped if you're having a problem with caps. There's nothing to fear with caps. They're quite easy to do. With some of the tips that I showed you, uh, you should be sewing caps on your beard in, in no time. If you're still having problems or you have more questions, please email our tech support line at techsupport at baradin.com or call us at tech support. And the number will be right here on the screen. So thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. This is Bob Stone with Baird in America.